You know, the demand for COVID-19 testing is surging as the spread of the virus picks up throughout the community. And today, people were actually waiting outside before the doors opened at Military Circle Mall for their second weekly testing clinic. As News 3 reporter Kofi Lasaki explains, healthcare facilities are now asking folks to be patient if they're looking for a swab. Dozens and dozens of people flocking to Military Circle Mall, not for vaccines, but for COVID-19 testing. There was people who lined up here at 12 o'clock when I arrived when the clinic wasn't scheduled to open until 1 o'clock. Wednesday is the second testing clinic at the Norfolk Mall, and the health department is seeing more people than they expected. So last week we tested 136, and out of that 136, 13 came back positive, which is 10%. And that's actually the percentage that we see in the community. They're prepared to administer over 100 more tests this week as COVID-19 spread drives demand. Today we've got uh, 250 tests here today. We can get more if needed, but we're prepared to do up to 250 uh, tests. And as you can see, uh, we've got off to a quick start here. The community testing events are for people who are experiencing symptoms or have recently been exposed to someone who tested positive for the virus. All tests are sent out to a lab with results in two to three days. Over the summer, people got relaxed, masks came off, people back, went back to their normal lives. The, the, the positive cases have gone up dramatically through July and August and that's causing people for more concern. Velocity Urgent Care says it's seeing a 50% increase in testing just since June. We saw a significant increase in the number of patients that are coming to us for COVID testing. In addition to that, we're receiving a lot of calls from businesses that want their employees tested now on a regular basis. They say it's a perfect storm of employers requiring the unvaccinated to be tested, increased travel, and the virus infecting more people. If you go online right now and try to schedule a COVID test online, with an actual scheduled appointment. We're out about two days, maybe a little bit longer. Now they're asking the patients to be patient as they work to meet the demand. Kofalasaki, News 3.